welcome back to my channel thank you so much for coming back and in today's video i'll be sharing with you guys on how we spent our first work three weeks in wagadugu so in case you don't know wagadugu is the capital of burkina so burkina is a country in west africa and it's actually not far from nigeria it's about an hour and 45 minutes going by air but then there is no straight flight to Burkina so you have to fly to Togo first and then take a connecting flight to Burkina so I mean the whole connecting thing just made the journey really long and stressful so at this point guys we had gotten to the hotel where we we're going to this thing and we we're just trying to sort out our room situation Finally, I got to my own room and this was just me bringing in my boxes so that I could you know, arrange my stuff. So this is what the room looks like it is an averagely sized room and it has everything to actually make you stay comfortable i also love the fact that the working space was also pretty comfortable because the chair and the table made a lot of sense and i was really hoping to have you know a comfortable working space because i know we'll be doing a lot of work also this bed i don't know what they did to this bed but whenever i lay on this bed i fall asleep instantly or i don't know if i was just tired every day maybe that was how i was sleeping off but then you know everything was okay the toilet and bathroom too were also okay also the hotel has a gym it has a rooftop lounge and it has a swimming pool so i would say it served its purpose well and for me i would probably give it a four over five so guys while i'm giving the tour let me just gist you guys a little bit i mean this is one of the few times that being a woman has felt so good because on this trip we are just two ladies with eight guys and the guys have been taking really good care of us you know they always try to put us first in everything they always look out for us and we've been getting so many women privileges from them especially my boss and i'm just grateful to them you know i know that some of them are going to watch this video so i just want to say thank you so much guys for making this trip a lot easier for us also i want to thank aka for being so nice and helping me get most of these clips because it's actually funny how i am the vlogger amongst all of us yet i'm always missing you know opportunity of vlogging something but aka always comes through for me so thank you so much aka Chico, for helping me you know capture some of these moments things you might want to know about burkina number one burkina is a very 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 hot place and when i mean hot it is very hot even the air you're breathing outside is extremely hot i used to complain about lagos weather but not anymore after experiencing burkina i can only thank god for lagos weather because burkina is literally burning secondly their official language here is french so we experience a lot of language barrier but for me i would always use google translator to you know write whatever i want and then just play it for whoever needs to listen to it i just thank god for google translator so while coming on this trip i tried to pack some of my essentials including the things i love to munch on while i'm at home 
so if you can see on the screen i tried you know to pack some of the some of my small chops things i basically love snacking on while i'm at home and these were the things i packed and honestly these things were really helpful to me because i didn't have to start looking for a supermarket close by or anything because i already brought a lot of the small chops that i was going to need So guys, I just figured out, you know, how using these chain nylons can actually help to organize your stuff while traveling. And because I shop a lot from Shane, I have a lot of this nylon and I was able to use them to organize my things while going on this trip. But if you notice, most of my things actually have a position and then the chain nylon just really helped, you know, to keep everything organized. So later that evening after you know we had gone to freshen up we came down for dinner and we all had dinner together and basically we we're just talking about you know what we we're going to be doing on site what to expect and you know how to just you know put our best foot forward so while on this trip a typical day in my life initially was go to the gym then go and get ready go for breakfast go to the office we usually have lunch in the office and then we walk till you know closing hours and then come back to the hotel but guys see after the first three days i could not go to the gym again because at that point i valued my sleep a whole lot and that was because we we're you know coming back late from work and i just needed time to rest like i could not do the whole gym thing again so the gym was cancelled at a point and i had to start getting more sleep guys so my routine became wake up in the morning get ready for breakfast then we'll go to work from there we usually have lunch in the office just like i mentioned and after working hours i just come back to the hotel and go straight to sleep guys i mean that's after speaking with my husband once i get back from work every day i always talk to my husband on video call and after that i am going to sleep because guys the exhaustion at this point then <laughs> it was just so much so that was the routine and we basically did that for three weeks straight i mean it was the same thing every day and that's just how we went for three weeks into the sky it filled the morning air with warmth and life sounds of birds in harmony and you there right next to me Life 
It's me. 